Okay, for this part of the tutorial, we're going to be working on how to get rid of that retrace. This thing right here that happens at the end of each cycle. We need to build in some logic. Okay, we need a false state and a true state. So, motion doesn't have really anything in the way of typical math handling, but you can get around a lot of the limitations with a little ingenuity. So I'm going to go and add a text generator's numbers and I'm going to turn off animate and for the value I'm going to add parameter behavior link and to the source object I am going to add the emitter and for the source parameter I'm going to add properties transform position x Okay, and you see that the numbers generator is going from uh, basically minus 10 to approximately 10, 9 or 10, whatever. Motion doesn't really round the numbers and it's a little complicated because uh, the clock that runs in the background that the oscillator is built on does not exactly match the 60 frames per second project that this is. So you have a little bit of variation on the ends. Okay, so we'll just have to deal with that little bit of slack. Remember when I set this up, I told you that the grid was 60 by 60. And I didn't really go into a lot of details, but the oscillate behavior here, the amplitude is 180, and this is uh, the positive amplitude. And for all the waveforms generated by the oscillator, there is a positive amplitude and a negative amplitude. So the magnitude of the amplitude is 360 pixels. Since I have the volume turned down right now, you can see that motion is picking this up. I'm going to very quickly reset this to zero. I have to uh, select the amplitude again. It'll regenerate the keyframes. There we go. And I'll just turn the audio off so I can talk through this. The other thing I have for the audio is I have the scale of the audio is 360. So I have the waveforms always staying inside this box, okay? If I turn on the overlays, you can see the motion path for the entire project. So back to the numbers. For the numbers, I need to adjust the scale via the link so that the numbers represents the actual X to, I already know it's going to be 19.2. Okay, and so if I check the emitter position, minus 174, so maybe a smaller adjustment. Okay, 19.19. .19. Actually, this might work better if I set the oscillate to 140. Let's do 60. We have 60 frames, and so we'll just do a speed of 60. It doesn't really matter. At the end, we're going to end up doing some adjustments anyway. Now, for the link, since we have the scale set up properly, we're going to set the X offset. We're going to start with the X offset at the theoretical location, should be 180. Okay, so that means the number should go from 0 to 360. But you see, we're, we're going to have a, an issue here. It's 5 at least. I'll just go ahead and do this now. I'm going to set this to 174 and to the numbers value 
uh, we're going to turn this into a logic state from 0 to 1. And we can do that very easily by also adding another parameter behavior called clamp. And we'll just set the max to 1. And now when this plays, we have a very brief 0 and the whole rest of the track is 1. It's pretty much very close to what we want. So now let's rebuild uh, the circle emitter. I'm going to go back to the birth rate and set this to 0. I'm going to go into a parameter behavior and custom. I'm going to add the object birth rate back. And I'm going to set this to 0. That is our starting birth rate for each pass. Now uh, to the birth rate here in the custom. I'm going to add a link behavior. And to the source object I'm going to add the numbers. And object numbers value. Which you'll remember it goes from 0 to 1. So we play this. Okay, we're just getting 10 emitted per second. So we want 2,000, so all I need to do is scale this up to 200. That's another mismatch between the internal representation of the numbers value and the birth rate. So you just work out what you need when you have to scale. So let's go ahead and try this. Okay, so we've eliminated the retrace, but did we eliminate it for everything? We don't need to see the numbers. We can go ahead and turn them off. The value will still be valid. Let's go into the oscillate and we'll change this back up to the 70, which was our half tempo and that's good there. It should work for the 35. Let's go up to the 140. Okay we're still getting it for the 140. So you need to test what your limits are going to be and then figure out what you need to go back and fix. So if I go back into the link for the numbers and back this off One seventy two. No, one seventy one, one seventy. Still getting them every few cycles. There's one. Okay, you have to give motion a little bit of time to catch up to you because it's recalculating all of these. Let's just take a look. Oh, it's still there. We don't want to go too far down. There we go. 166. And that takes care of it for this speed. Okay, so that's how to build a logic unit or some logic into motion. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.